Hey there folks and welcome to a new series. This is Contact for the Nintendo DS. You may notice that it's made by Grasshopper Manufacturer, the infamous studio of Suda51. I'm not sure how much he had to do with this game. This series has already been plagued with all sorts of uh, technical difficulties because this Desmume Des emulator is a pain in the ass to capture. But I think we got it, so let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Okay. Okay, that was an interesting pause we had there. I thought it was going to have some more fuck-ups. I think we're good, though. Whenever you start the game, you're presented with this. It's all what do. Well, of course, on the Nintendo DS, you have a stylus, so you should start poking around everywhere until you poke on this gentleman. Ouch! Huh? Wait a minute! Actually, let's switch our... One second, I gotta switch to the bottom screen so you can see him. There we go. That's the gentleman I was just clicking on. You saw it on the left screen, at least. Hey, can you hear me? Do that again! Ooh. Aha! There really is someone out there! Ooh. Ooh. Uh, hello? Ooh. Ooh. Welcome! I'm glad I... I'm glad to meet you. How are you? Uh, <laughs> other than this emulator issue and OBS literally locking up my computer, so I had to restart. It's been all right. Ooh. Oh no, that's terrible. I'm ever so nervous. Ooh. I can't believe I didn't have a speech ready. Ooh. Okay, don't go anywhere. This is important. Ooh. I need a little information before we get started. Ooh. Are you Yop Yop? No. Ooh. Oh, that's my mistake. Then what is your real name then? Better not be longer than nine characters, because if it is, I swear to God, I will punch you square in the nutsack. Alright, we'll go ahead and be lethal. There we go. Ooh. Lethal, huh? That's certainly unique. Ooh. So, where on your planet do you live, lethal? I live on the inter... And it was just this bad on the regular DS. I played this <laughs> when I was younger, of course. This is not a blind playthrough. We are on the interwebs. Hey there, Death. Mm. Ah, in interwebs! Mm. Never heard of it. Mm. Let me enter all that into my PC right here. Please wait. Ins oh, actually, this is the PC saying this. Insufficient data. Please see side B. Mm. Oops, that's right. I thought there was more. Mm. All right, then. Here, hmm. tell me about your hobby. Let's see, I play the video games. Which, I think is probably what everyone put into this damn game. Actually, we'll just call it video. There you go. Hmm. Video, huh? That's a fine hobby. Hmm. Well, what is your favorite food? Let's see if I can <laughs> spell this correctly. Pro shoe. I think this one has enough characters for this. Let's see. Let me actually look it up real quick. <laughs> I have the ability to do so real quick. All right. The, the, I was before. It. That's what I thought. I'm sorry. I don't know Italian right off the bat. So. Okay. At least this can be longer in nine characters, which is interesting. Oh, you like prosciutto that much, do you? Mm. I do, too. Mm. Then what's your least favorite food? My least favorite food? That would probably be oysters. I'm not a big fan. The way this keyboard is in alphabetical order kind of fucks, <laughs> fucks with my head, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Which is exactly what you're saying there. And you like cheesecake there, DJ. That's good. Oysters, yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. They have an awful, awful aftertaste to me. I know other people love them. Not many folks like oysters. Well, I wouldn't say that much. Ooh. Okay, last question. Ooh. Write something about yourself. Ooh. It should let me know what kind of person you are. Ooh. A tough one? Um, a tough one, eh? It should be meaningful. Ooh. Do you have a dream, Lethal? Any ambitions? A secret? I promise not to look. I think you all know what's going here. 
my mantra and everything else. The unstoppable mantra, which is the only reason the series is still going after all the technical difficulties. It's been entered. I didn't peek, promise. Thank you muchly. That should do it. Please wait. Data entry successful. Rebooting to stabilize OS. Hmm. Now, I can contact... Uh, I said the thing. I can contact you when I want, Lethal. Hmm. Let's get down to business, shall we? Hmm. This is actually not all that surprising. Hmm. I've, had to, I've had a signal going out for a while now. Hmm. I don't even know how many years it's been now. Hmm. According to this data right here... Hmm. You've used a DS to contact me here. Hmm. Amazing that it can connect two worlds. Hmm. I've actually never heard any... I've never seen, rather, anything so high-tech. Hmm. Just jacking off Nintendo there. Where'd you buy it? Could you get me one? No? Hmm. Ahem. Hmm. At any rate, I thought you might be able to help me. Well, I think you could control the outcome anyway. Hmm. Swystein, thanks for the uh, sub there. <laughs> now at 14 months, I, th I think Tiny Shopkeeper's up there at the same rate, actually. Let's see. We can even pretend it's just a game. Hmm. You think this is a game? <laughs> the thing is, you see, hmm. they're after me. Oh no. Not sure which screen I should be looking at here. So it looks like I have a little bit of the border on this one. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. There we go. Getting some audio crackle there. I'm not sure if I can fix that, to be honest. Alright, contacto. I will try to get that solved between this session and the next. Jar Jar thinks, remember this little game, fun times. We'll just pretend the crackling was part of the original retro audio, wink. your question there, DJ. I had the original Fat DS, and I also had the Slim versions. I had two of them. One of them broke. Very unfortunate. Also, <laughs> I mean, if you're watching games on Twitch, I hope you don't have seizures as it is. Let's actually switch to the top screen. The top screen? Oh, okay. I had them switched around so top is actually what I thought was the uh, bottom. Hey! Don't you want to hang out for a while? Actually, I'm not sure if this is this guy or this person here. Don't you want to hang out for a while? You're Terry, right? Actually, I think that's Terry. No? Alright, I'll let Chat name our protagonist here. The boy on the right. Who should our protag be named? I thought you were going to say that. Well, Ryelder got in there fastest, so we'll go ahead and go with Yagami. Oh, I didn't. I had the bot started, and then of course I had to restart my computer for OBS. I'm booting it up now. 
as you can actually see, because it's on top of the window. <laughs> Alright, so he's upset, understandably. Oh no! For Zygner, I thought he was in this. Clearly he's in this vehicle. Hey, don't touch that! Give it to him, boy! This is Yagami. Watch out! Quick, get inside! Running around like a maniac up here, achieving nothing. Please get on my spaceship so you can be shot with laser beams. Great plan, right? you heard that. The number you've dialed is currently in space. Mom could not reach us. Or could not reach Yagami, I should say. Do not remove the game cart. It's going to be hard for me to do that. That took a realistic amount of time to say, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Let's actually switch that to the bomb screen. There you go. There is a white gap there. These screen sizes, man. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. Not Yagami, I'm talking to you, Lethal. Hmm. You, can you see Yagami anywhere? Hmm. He's out cold, huh? Hmm. I'm afraid I can't see him at all from here. Hmm. Can you keep an eye, uh, eye on him for me? Hmm. The crash, or that crash, totally totaled my ship, I'm afraid. Hmm. And its power cells have been scattered. For cover, I've merged my ship with a pirate hmm. galleon. I found just laying around, you know? They're hmm. everywhere. Once I fix my PC, we can set sail from here. Hmm. The PC powers the ship and lets me watch Yagami. Hmm. On that note, could you wake him up for me? Sure, but let me go ahead and make this window better. Because right now... We don't have everything we should have on the screen. That looks better. We'll go ahead and leave you down there. It's not important. Alright, and here we are. How the game is typically played. I can move around with the arrow keys. Or I can actually click around the screen. Seashells can be shot. And tread safely. Actually, I think we can do something with this tree, can't we? Oh, yeah, we can also start fighting things with the A button. So if I want to fuck up this crab, I can. And you just auto-attack. Of course, this thing is pretty damn tough. I think we're going to vacate the area. No! Don't hit me! Alright. Crabs are a bit much barehanded, at least in this. Well, that thing looks fucking terrifying. We're getting skills. Let's see if I can find my start button here on this uh, this here emulator. Let's attack. Lethal, what did you have your... <laughs> Let's <laughs> figure out what our buttons were. <laughs> I don't remember if I was playing with a uh, control pad last time I did this. Or if I didn't, let's see. Start button is enter. Of course it is. Well, of course it's enter. That makes sense. And select is <laughs> right shift. 
Oh, but it doesn't fucking do anything, because why would it do anything? Okay, well, we can't access any kind of menu yet anyway. See, let's just avoid all these things. The text is a bit cut off. <laughs> Where's the text a bit cut off? Maybe the stuff up top? Or you mean over to the side? I can resize that too, I suppose. I guess. I guess you'll want to be able to see that. There you go. I guess that was just my imagination, by the way. Let's go walk back and talk to this gentleman. Maybe we'll have an easier time of it. This is clearly the pirate galleon that he's uh, moonlighting as. Yogby, we're out cold for a while. Let's go ahead and switch it up to that. Let's also resize that screen. Everything got fucked up in the great, like, computer reboot of uh, 2020. There's some sand on your cheek. Let me get that. Anyway, sorry to get you mixed up in all this. The room over here can be yours. And, uh, I have a favor to ask you. I need help locating elemental cells. They power the ship, so they're kind of important. Would you turn that... Would you turn that on for me? Okay, sure. Would you turn that on for me, Yagami? Hmm. You're definitely a child of the 21st century. Hmm. This is a fancy transmitter. The menu. Hmm. It stands for multi-element nano unit. Hmm. You can start it up with the X button. Hmm. It lets you talk to me and do other stuff. Hmm. You can test it out by checking the items you find. Don't worry if you forget all this, it's not important. I've designed it to be very user-friendly. Watch the top screen for an occasional tip. Top screen? What? <laughs> what are you talking about, old man? Okay, now we can go into a menu so you can see that we have... This is an RPG. It's a real-time RPG. We have, like, strength. We have defense. Uh, I think that's just accuracy in general. I'm not sure what this is doesn't say. It's supposed to be very user-friendly. Maybe. Maybe it isn't. Oop. And we have book learning, uh, flexing on fools, and boot stat. We also have a variety of, like, weapon stats. I think this one's res One of these is resistance. Who even knows? Speed. Ridiculous speed. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and get going. In this room, we can go ahead and take a bath. Get our health points back. It's so warm and comforting. Let's also switch back to the lower screen so you guys can actually see it. It's going to be something I'm not used to, by the way. You can also sleep in bed. I think that goes ahead and saves for us. Yagami, please. Save? Sure. And whenever you save, you have a little mini game because it takes a thousand hours actually save, although I don't think the minigame starts until it's done, which is sort of bizarre. So this is your chance to play with this critter. I don't think this critter has actually been identified to us. We have a certain amount of time. You can also pet the creature. And if you pet him incorrectly, he gets mad. Say, as you see there. You can also direct him to, like, nap, to scratch, to eat. He's like a Tamagotchi, except worse. And this is really the core gameplay. <laughs> it really isn't the core gameplay. Remeth, I'm in a basket. Hey there, Dekai. Also, I think if you're tired of this, you can click on the, the clock up there there and immediately get out. Alright, we're back up and at him. Let's go. Come on. Navigating with the mouse is its own, uh... own sort of troubles. Are you having trouble? Hmm. If you're tired, relax in the bath. Okay, I want you to tell me what that critter was. Oh, well. <laughs> Remind you of where you aware? Very possible. Maybe I'll use the arrow keys for a bit. Also, we have a kitchen over here. 
He can't cook because he's not wearing those clothes. Or, well, that's pretty much what it says. Can't cook if he's wearing those clothes. Which, it's like, what the fuck does that even mean? Needs certain clothes to cook? This is freaking horse plop. Anyway, let's get out of here. Ooh. Testing, testing, do you copy? Let's actually switch to the top screen. Ooh. Oh, so you can hear me. I was able to see you too. Or I'm able to see you too. I'm almost, I almost forgot to tell you something. Ooh. Also, we have some code up there. I like how I can direct you to things using my mouse in this game. Very handy. Do you know about battles? Like, you know, fighting. Ooh. Start battles with B. Just keep in mind, Ooh. the B will enter battle mode. Ooh. Yagi will, Yagi will be able to attack and more. Ooh. He'll automatically target the closest enemy. Ooh. They'll target him too, of course, so don't freeze up. Ooh. Press B again to turn off battle mode. Ooh. The best way is, to, that's the best way to run. If you can't retaliate, Ooh. Lethal already knows that, of course. Get used to moving in and out of battle mode. Ooh. And don't pick fights with anything unusual. Ooh. A history of violence can ruin a reputation. Okay. Ooh. I will battle you. Bat. Ow. Kill it. Ooh. This is a DS game there, Zephy. I know fashion shaming. Thankfully, I have much more space dedicated to the chat this time. We are now a good person because that is a... If you attack things that are aggressive towards you, it makes you morally good, which makes about as much sense as anything, to be honest. Hmm. We can get better at punching things. Let's see what's over in this direction. Actually, I think there's some stuff outside. Hmm. We'll attack you too. Throw us down. Fight. And as you can see, we're already getting much more powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Good point there, Grimoth. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, there we go. That is the hardest thing. There's also money! Punch it. The DS is a very awkward system to actually capture. Get up there and punch him, damn it. Can you kill something to extinction? Not as far as I'm aware. There we go. We're still good. Let's go and take a bath. Because we got effed up. Like many of these types of games, you gotta get a little more powerful. Before you can really take things on. It would also happen help, rather, if I had a weapon. I'm just gonna go ahead and move past you for now. Getting better at boots. Mm. Hello, can you still hear me? Mm. There's something else I should mention. Mm. Special moves, which I like to call techs. Mm. Now press the Y button to see all your available techs. Mm. Once you've selected one, press the A button. Mm. Use the control pad to view more available techs or usable techs. Mm. Take your time, this menu stops time itself. Ooh. Yagami will use the tech on the enemy that you target. Ooh. And there's also this tech meter you should know about. Ooh. Right there, see? Yeah, that's the one. Ooh. The meter will rise as Yagami defeats enemies. Ooh. Raise his skill and learn more techs as well. Ooh. Techs are available at any time. The X button will check what skills you have. Okay, let's check out them skills, yo. We also have some stuff. No, I don't want to eat that. I didn't know I had a cola and an orange and all that stuff. Okay, here are our techs. We have a body shot. Goes straight to the liver and continues to inflict damage steadily. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and attack this crab here. Unfortunately, I have to progress towards the crab. Let's see. Maybe I have to click on myself. There it is. Okay. I'll learn what the Y button is in just a second. Mom, where's my Y button? 
That's the X button. There we go. Body shot. Bam! Right in your crab liver. Occasionally crabs will drop edibles and stuff. Also, there should be an orange tree around here somewhere. I'm not sure when we get back our tech points yet. Whoop. Need to move my movement keys closer to my other keys. Punch! Muscle up. Come on, Krabby. Think you're hard? Okay, I'm guessing that the flex is actually defense. That's our resistance stat going up. Well, it doesn't seem to be saving us. I know, crab battle. The last crab battle went better than this one. <laughs> what are all these icons? What do they mean? It's all like, man, <laughs> victory stat up. Let's go punch a few more of these silly things. Get it. Get it. Yog me, I swear to God. Okay, now we're doing like six damage to these things, so we're just kicking their shit in. Not sure if there's any sort of, uh, whatchamacallit, any sort of bestiary so we can learn what these are. It's just like a big-ass caterpillar, really. Hmm. Watch out, Jogami, your HP is low. Hmm. I see. We could do another body shot. Bad. Hmm. For science sake, let's see if that comes back if I take a bath. That should be like a full hell and a... No tech point regain, right? So warm and comforting. Okay, we did not get back our tech points. But that's alright. Also, that running animation is as janky as it looks. Suck! Our dodge stat's getting better, so I can actually get around these silly caterpillars. More flex. More boot. Wish we had some sort of, like, countdown or cooldown so I could see when my next attack was. Alright, we'll just squash you things really easily. Yeah, I suppose I could just move around with the keyboard, of all things. Oop. My HPs went up! Holy shazbot! I think. Okay, I think we're strong enough to actually do some stuff. We'll just avoid the crabs. They're clearly not worth the time. I think it's probably going to try to attack us. Yep, sure did. Aha! Tropical fruit. Let's go ahead and eat a tropical fruit. Do you want to eat it? Yes. We have a tummy meter. We can't just eat ourselves to health because our tummy's full, just like Yakuza. So it's even perfect that his name is, you know, Yagami. But we need to fight every creature for our Pokédex? Yes. Oh my god, there's a thing over there. This is Yagami. But Mom, I can't reach it. <laughs> Yagami can't reach it. Uh, excuse me. It's, it's me again, sorry. I just upload a new feature to the menu. Give me just a moment to explain it. Ooh. Pressing the R button will bring up the cool screen. Ooh. R button? Oh, shit. You can also touch the green icon there. Uh, the green icon up there. Which one is up there? Uh, it's best that you forget what I said. What? <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea, if I do say so myself. Ooh. They're called decals, or trick decals. Ooh. So, bring up the menu, then, Ooh. uh, well, you'll see what happens. Ooh. Hey, Lethal, touch the screen to distract him. Ooh. Uh, okay, actually, these are more for you than Yagami. Ooh. Just peel them off and stick them somewhere. Ooh. Sorry about that, we're experiencing some lag. Ooh. I'll just go ahead and explain decals. Ooh. All right. From the menu, select the question mark to see the equipped equipment decals. Mm. Trick decals work little a little differently. Mm. Anyway, equipment decals increase Yagami's mm. abilities after altering his stats directly. 
You can find the question mark decal and check it in the menu. Ooh. Apply them directly to Yagami. The equip Ooh. decal gets a surprise bonus. Ooh. Four decals combined to make a set. Ooh. Uh huh. Apply them to whatever stat you wish. Ooh. Then, a, but a decal cannot be used more than once for reasons. Once it's peeled, it loses its adhev adhesiveness. Because of course it Ooh. does. Have fun with it. Stickers are always a good time. Ooh. Now, that everything is fine, good luck out there. Alright, and actually, those are our tricky cows, that green thing he was talking about. Ooh. Let's go ahead and peel it. Let's see. So those are our trick decals. I don't think those are our regular decals. We need that one to for something later. Okay, so... One moment, I gotta figure out how this works again. Let's go ahead and peel this. Peel it. That immersion as you peel it. It's not really where I asked you to put it, to be honest. Good work. Is it fucking gone forever because I missed Yagami? <laughs> well, whatever that fucking thing is, it's gone forever. Good, good, good feature, guys. Good feature. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bats! This won't take long. Guess I'll punch more you things. Oh, there's a chest down there. Excuse me. Thankfully, these things cannot aggress towards you because they are silly cat <laughs> caterpillars. Oh. oh, here we go. We can actually look at all the stats here. So we have strength, which... Indicates how much damage can be done in battle. Also improves pushing skill. Uh, determines damage taken from physical attacks. Probability of landing an attack. Affects your parrying ability. Speed of weapon use. Affects your magical... Wait. Magical techniques. So that's our book stat. Determines HP as the flex. The boot is walking speed. I knew there, this was in here somewhere. Slashing weapons, blunt weapons, striking weapons. Although I got that for punching things too, which is interesting. Punching weapons. Tech available when wearing the knuckle mole outfit. Other techs may improve as well. What the hell is it even talking about, right? Tech available when wearing the aqua shot outfit. Uh huh, spoilers. The nitro boost outfit. And finally, the flyboy outfit. What the fuck are we even reading? <laughs> it indicates how famous you are. <laughs> how brave he is, being Yagami. Indicates his alignment, good or evil. Reduce damage from slashing attacks, blunt attacks. Uh-huh. Reduces earth damage, water damage, fire damage, wind damage. That doesn't look like wind at all, but what do I know? Tech available to the Shadow Thief. To the Fisher King. To Mr. Cuisine. Okay, I think we've learned enough. Let's get out of here. What's in the box? Herbs. Hmm. Original herbs and spices. Pardon me, caterpillars. We don't got time for you. <laughs> Flexing on your enemies makes your HP goes go up. You heard it here first. Hmm. Let's see. Some more crabs. Looking for tropical fruits. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's a tropical fruit. Oh. Interesting flow down. Doesn't matter. Okay, so that thing is called Mochi. That weird critter. I saw him just mention it. Mr. Cuisine is a Yakuza NPC. Oh my god, it's a sheep. You can't really see him because he's not all the way in frame. But he's a sheep. There he goes. I will aggress towards the sheep. Get him. Bad. Bad. Too bad. Sometimes you can get ribs and lamb chops from those things. Come here, you. You're gonna stick my fist right where it belongs. There you go. Bad. Ah, oh, no. Everyone's missing. We get nothing, but we got two tech points now. My goodness. Any more sheepses? 
click that down. More fruits are always good. Ooh. Oh, that's not way up. There's a very small hole in the wall here that you may not be able to see. Oh, it's a pig. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but now you can tell. Time to give you a fistin. Bad. How dare you be a pig existing in my direct vicinity. Oh no, it's bad to kill piggies. Fuck you, pig. Bad. Bad. Oh no. Losing so much morality killing these things. I'm a bad pig-killing man. Please cease to be pig. Just run right over that one. Who is this? Aha! A decal. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Let's see if I can actually put this on top of him. Wait, where, where is it? Um. I don't know how decals work, Mom. Here we go. Hurt. Hurt. My immersion. <laughs> there we go, finally. It's not even that hard. <laughs> Time to buff the pig. We got two thing balls. Hooray. Yeah. We'll go ahead and put that there. Okay, so these ones are the trick decals. We use that on things in the world. And uh, I guess the other ones are the typical decals, which we use on ourselves. Kill it. SMH. Come on. You know what? Oh, not you. You're not going to actually get a technique. I've decided not to. I think he actually interrupted my attack. Just kind of bullshit. Bad. Right to your liver. Damn, we just absolutely eviscerated that pig. Is that a thing down there? It almost looks like one. Uh oh, it's a different color. That means it's badass. Let's kill it. I think you're cool, Mr. Red Thing. Stupid caterpillars. I'm gonna make you metamorphosis into a fucking dead mechanical <laughs> caterpillar. Come on. Dark metamorphosis. It does look pretty evil. Such so battle music. The ep <laughs> epic fight between man and caterpillar. What the fuck? Ooh, a bat. Whoop. Sorry, I'm getting my buttons all con <laughs> confused here. So our weapon speed goes down, but we have a bat. Practice so you won't get hurt. Okay. You saw a bat earlier. Damn it, Griff. That's one of my cells, right? Yes, right there in the vicinity. Handle it with care, Yagami. Use a cell decal to seal it properly. All right, I think I will. Let's see if I can do this right. This fucking mechanic. <laughs> it's just as irritating as it was in, uh, in real life, to be honest. They're very sticky in more ways than one. Our epic music got cut off. Very good. Maximum immersion obtained. Or attained, rather. Smashing, you did it. That's one down. Just come back to my lab. Do you know the way? I accidentally seals Yagami. No, the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I'll have a nice hot bath waiting here for you. Uh, what's this? Well, Yagami, it's not the cell, but... It seems that the caves are rich with hidden paths. My radar says that there are at least two in this section alone. Well, one not counting the one that you came through. Congratulations. What's that? At any rate, you'll have to find them yourself. There are probably even more secret spots ahead. Make sure that you check out suspicious areas. Oh, Ooh. that's right. I have uh, I have some good news for you. Ooh. I have been able to develop a new trick decal. Ooh. Come back to my lab and I'll fill you in. Okay. 
speed. Alright, well this is a suspicious area. What do we have here? Fight with backdrafts, aqua shot. Or fight the backdrafts, rather. Do you want to change into it now? Sure, why the hell not? Yeah! Trickle acquired. Nifty. So now I can trickle on fools. Just like mom always wanted me to. That looks kind of suspicious, but I guess it's just a weird hole. Way overdressed for this climate. Well, you know. There's a box up there, and I want to know, of course, what's in the box. Mom, there's a box. <laughs> Can you get cooking that outfit? No. I'll go ahead and give you a hint. The outfit that we clean in, now that you know that one of them's called the Aqua Shot, it might be more obvious than it was before which outfit we need. And no, it's not like the Knuckle Duster or whatever the other one was. Like the first one. Certainly not that. It's not the Flyboy one. I don't think it... The Shadow Thief. You've got it, Grimoth. My God. Oh, goodness. All right. Time for some trickle-down economics on your ass. I don't have any... Uh, actually, I don't have any points. Holy shit. <laughs> that bat's pretty good at killing pigs. Come here, you piece of shit. Bat. Hey, there we go. We got some meat. Oh, monkeys. This kid just run around whacking pigs with a baseball bat. We can always become less evil later, right? I mean, there's experience to be had and pigs to be clubbed. Oh, what's that? Young me took the bottle. There's a letter inside. I am Jean-Pierre Nekid, a cook. The island is bountiful, and there, are, but, and there are no people. I came to La Chef Beach to practice cooking. All right, <laughs> knowledge obtained. How do you like baseball bats, you little bitch? Bat. He turned into a nickel, because of course he did. What's the point of being less evil if you're you bitch, supposed man. to? If you're not supposed to punch pigs or bat them into submission? What a fucking liger. Uh, a letter. <sighs> Come here, you. Did you attack me first? Maybe now they're upset at me. Like they know I'm evil. You've killed my brothers. Now I shall get revenge. They are attacking me now. So there you go. If you're evil, pigs hate you. They have good reason to be upset at <laughs> about me. Ooh, meats. Now we truly have a crab bat. Think you're hard? You haven't seen my bat yet. <laughs> so evil right now. Don't worry, we'll get better. And we can use our trickle ability now. Go and get the fruit. Are you gonna attack me? Oh yeah, the sheep's hate me now too. Get trickled on, fool. <laughs> I said get trickled on, fool. There you go, fuck you. <laughs> Let me just piss on these sheep so you instantly kill them. <laughs> Can I piss on a crab to instantly kill it? Let's find out. Oh no. I actually had no problem with that, to be honest. As you might expect, a crab probably has better water resistance. Grab ourselves another fruit. In fact, let's go ahead and imbibe one of those fruits. Very good. Anything else up here I'd like? Especially. Let's see if we can't find any secret passages over here. You little bastard. Ow. Bad. You gave me a potato. Eat. Grimma's favorite food. Now we're at bat, son. <laughs> bat on bat violence. Bat wins. Gog me, please. Please swing the bat. No. 
I want to I obviously want to attack the one that's adjacent to me if you'd be so kind there we go we're becoming a better person by batting caterpillars what Bad. oh no power strike boost <laughs> Prizes. A knife! Now we're talking. It's a rusty knife, but hey, let's give it a shot. So it's got offense of three. Our bat has an offense of seven. It's not going to be as powerful, but it's going to be faster. Let's give it a shot. I should grab this before, honestly. Give him tetanus. Give it tetanus. All right, that's it. You're getting pissed on. I said you're getting pissed on. You're gonna like it. There you go. Get pissed on. So you are rather, rather resilient. There we go. Got better at slashing things. Let's go ahead and grab a fruit. Probably eat a fruit. I think you also have an eating stat. I could be wrong. Very good. Alright, I think I'm going to switch back to our bat. Because even though it's slower, I can one-shot enemies. Give me you. Oh, you stole my life points, you silly piece of shit. Don't you use that confused ray on me. This ain't Mount Moon. It's Mount Yagami. You must become the Shadow Lord. Got another potato for our efforts. Alright, let's make our way back to the lab. This running animation. Let's see how Bat does against you. Bat! Projectile attacks, the very idea. There we go. We're going a better person through violence. Turn you into a coin. Grab a fruit. Any way to go over here? Oh, I'd kill you, sheep, if I could get out there. Oop. I must have gotten a critical hit on the last one. Hey, some water. Alright, and I guess I'll bat you down. You are in my, in my, distinctly in my way, so I'll go ahead and bat you. I wonder if there's any hidden places over here. Excuse me. There is, I can't find any. Those aggressive cab fillers, I'm gonna tickle you so bad. I swear to God. Go jump in the bath, and then we'll go ahead and do that. So much easier just to use the keyboard here, or, which would be the, what would be the gamepad? All right, I brought you your crystal. You need to gain more angst to become a Shadow Lord? It's a cell. Good job, Yagami. This is exactly what I needed. The element in this cell powers my ship's main PC. My my, my ship's main personal computer. Uh huh. Once my OS is restored, once I reformat it to have Linux on it, then we can get on with things. About our earlier conversation. The one about trick decals. I've developed a new mochi decal for you. Let's actually switch it to the top screen. There you go, Lethal. I upload it to your decal file, see it? Use the mochi decal to call mochi for help. He, uh, well, he'll give you a hand. Take good care of him and he'll get stronger. That's pretty much how mochi decal works. That said, we're about to set sail again. Sailing, sailing over the bounding seas. Look how excited I am. How wonderful. <laughs> how excited you are and that's wonderful. So, Yagami, you will keep helping me, won't you? I hope that they... I hope that they don't think you ran away. Who are they in this context? Oh, that's right. Your mom sent an email. 
with a capital E. Oh, and about your cell phone. I kinda had to use it for spare parts. I know, I know, I should've asked first. I tried to fix it, but I didn't have the materials. But don't worry, my PC has mobile mail. Mom, the space alien scientist is a different texture than Yagami. It's true, he has a far different sprite sort of like design, where he has that black, you know, outline on him and everything. What the hell? So, like I said, your mom left a note. Don't you have friends to exchange email with? Mm. Look at that, you've got mail! Mm. Take your time, I'll just be here with Mochi. I tried calling, but your battery's dead. Or are your batteries dead? Don't worry, I'm not mad, just come home. I'm going- you're going to miss dinner. Where are you? Dad's on his way, let's have a nice family meal. See you soon, Ma. Right. Hmm. Done already? Okay, Mochi, let's get going. Hmm. We have to switch back to radar mode. Hmm. I've got another cell reading. Hmm. Good timing since we're ready to go now. Ah, hmm. uh, yes, here it is. Hmm. 22,000 kilometers to the northwest. Hmm. It's in a cave, some place called, I was going to say Cloaca, no, called Doxa. They're kind of... There's some kind of ruins, but this says... Hmm, now we'd better hurry. Go rest in your room, Nagami. You've just got back, right? You've done well. We'll... We'll leave when you're ready. But rest for now. You see that globe next to your bed? Not immediately, no. It's a sea navy. A well-named navigational system. Called Doxa should appear on it now. If you set set the sea navy to Kaldoxa, mm. the ship will automatically navigate there. Mm. And that's what I programmed it to do anyway. Mm. I'll leave the navigating to you, Yagami, mm. which I suppose makes you the captain. Mm. Why not take a bath first, Captain Yagami? I feel like we've had a Captain Yagami before. <laughs> that was Commander Yagami, though. This right. is Yagami. This is Yagami, yep. So here is our world map. We have Kaldoxa, which I believe is this larger island, and it's said to the northwest. Now, we will go instead to the La Chef Beach. All right, now we jump into bed. They'll go ahead and pass the time until we get there. Ah, yes, goddammit. I am going to have the hardest time fucking keeping track of this. Alright, you ready to save the game there, game? Please, thank you. Alright, it's time to play with the Mochers. Go sell that. Now, go scratch on this. I'm clicking on it. Do it. Alright, now you're gonna get harassed. Just like you've always wanted. Oh, I touched him in the wrong place. You such a fondling that you will enjoy it. All right, now go over there. Oh, the excitement, the romance, the danger! <laughs> I know it does have pong over on that screen, doesn't it? I clicked on the food, not on you, you egotistical bitch. Now we're at Le Chef Beach. Be careful out there on the Chef Beach. Okay. <laughs> Lethal will get used to this. Probably. Maybe. Alright. There's already Crabbles. Hmm. Oh, he can't attack him. I am training. Right now I am drying lawn my laundry. Uh oh. Piece of shit. <laughs> hey! Come back here, you monkey face! I needed those clothes. 
That chef uniform means a lot to me. I would my first day of work at a six-star resort. At least, the head chef said it was six stars. I worked myself ragged day in and day out. Was master of washing dishes. Even still, they never let me cook anything myself. So I blew the, that popsicle stand in short order. Wait, there's a six-star popsicle stand? And here I am, training, as you can see. I have mastered the art of scaling fish, haha! -ha! To think my uniform is gone now. I have to, you have to get that back for me, do we? I don't see where the hell I have that, you know, obligation. But sure, why the fuck not? Now that I'm in this strange world, I might as well help you. Alright, you. Bad. Monkey, you're gonna get batted too if you're not fast enough. Ow. Bad. See, I can't go over there. Just not agile enough. Uh oh, they're linking. Oh no, I got put to sleep. Wake up. Can I click him to wake him up? Not done yet. We have an <laughs> epic bat battle. We are getting some good defense stats here. Wake up. Alright, finally for you, asshole. That's right, I'm pushing you around, interrupting your turn. Fuck you. I don't know how the hell I did that, but I did. Bad. Okay, bat chicken. Coinage. Anything cool up here? Roller bugs? Oh, they're aggressive. Alright, you're gonna get it. You bet. Ow. I will piss on you. I said, behold my droplets. There you go. Would you like some droplets, sir? There you go. Enjoy the droplets. What the hell's that? A fruit knife? Let's see, five cooks only. What? But mom! Clearly the bat already harvested that, <laughs> that chicken. I see, now it all makes sense. All right, bats, we're gonna live in harmony. Also, let me go and get something to eat. Another tropical fruit, I think. Plenty of those left. Monkey! Or bugs. Piss on you. There's a chest back there, I want it. I think it was gonna use some kind of Sonic move on me, guys. Did you see that? The very idea. Get pissed off. I don't have any more pissed you, so I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Gotta have a refactory period for that. Maybe eat some more tropical fruits. How does one access that area? Here we go. A key? Eat. I know that we diverged from the monkey path. Oh boy. Two you little rascals, huh? Well, I could always just go down here and not go towards you. The hell is this area? Good area. Glad we have it. Gotta be a point to this, right? I suppose there doesn't have to be. And I drink plenty of liquids. 
Alright, you. Think you're hard? Just because you're pink? Listen. Pink piece of shit. I will ruin you. Like I've ruined so many other caterpillars of the green variety. There you go. Let me take that morality point. Oof. Bad. Speed. <laughs> Swirly eggs. Oh, critical hit. Two critical hits. Alright, I guess this is just a place if you want to grind, you can kill these things. Thankfully, I've gotten more piss. Alright, we're just gonna avoid you things, because you're kind of mean. If I don't have piss. I don't really want to use my piss on you, okay? I'm sure you understand. This thing on the other end. Bad. Bad. There we go. Uh oh. Grr. All right, you kids have fun. I'm gonna go ahead and have a fruit. All right, you think you're hard? How hard are you if I put a sticker on you? Oh, that's the mochi thing. We also got that one back. Okay, thank you for your thank you for the assistance. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Piss. Oh wow, that piss just fucked him up. Alright. Oh my goodness. There we go, got him. The, the monkey has developed feelings for Yagami. Yagami is not so sure about this situation. <laughs> he feels like Robin Williams whenever Robin Williams interacted with Coco the gorilla. It makes noises when I interact with it. You think over here? Nope. Any Wolfenstein walls in this direction? No. Okay. I can't attack the monkey. Who refuses my advances with the bat. Put me to sleep. Wake up. Stop putting me to sleep. Some more bat chicken. I'm into it. Alright, we're just gonna circumvent you, bat. Did you go up here before? There's more bats. Excuse me, monkey. Yeah, we went over there. Pardon me. I do like the monkey animations, they're pretty cute. <laughs> Pets are the chicken of the sky, just like tuna's like chicken of the sea. Monkey, please. You're being a hindrance. See, why can't you be more like that and just die? Wait, where'd all my money go? Oh, maybe 20 is what I picked up. I thought that was my total. Got earth resistance there. <laughs> See ya, JG. Hi, JG. Bye, GG. <laughs> eh, thanks. But I don't need it anymore. I'm a whole new man. A new man requires new clothes, yes? You kept that out of feet. I'm starting from scratch. What did you say your name was? Yogimi, eh? Not really a good chef name. But don't this worry. You'll do fine. Is a tip for beginners. Since you remind me of me with clothes on, cave smoke works wonders on chicken. Try it. And good luck. I'll be turning hard a lot right alongside you. Willy? Fucking excuse me? <laughs> I think just Mega Man teleported out of here. Mr. Cuisine, the Sultan of Sauteing. Yeah, sure. Oh, actually, I meant to. Oh, well. Gut acquired. Good. 
Mom, how do I get back on the pirate ship? There we go. Had to find the proper pirate entrance. Alright, the closet should be in here. I think this is it. Aqua shot. Empty hangers. Default. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll, we'll take a bath in a moment. Let's go ahead and cook. Let's make a, a meat. You can place multiple items in the frying pan. I don't think we have anything else that goes with this. But you can just, like, make meat. And if the gods shine upon you... Or if they look down on upon you with lovable eyes, it'll actually work. It's not a 100% thing. <laughs> Cook before you clean up? What the hell? I'm not sure which of, which of the best screen to look at here, to be honest. Fortunately, you cannot cook multiple meats at once, as far as I'm aware. These, of course, have benefits of restoring more HP, and what may not be immediately apparent is you need to level up your cooking skill, which uh, is unfortunate as well, because it takes a an era to actually update. Surprised we haven't fucked up yet. I guess Yagami just wants to show off for the stream. No meat and a potato? We could try... We could try a potato in a second. Maybe we'll bake it. Bake it in the frying pan. Or we could make, you know, french fries. One potato, two potato, two <laughs> many, and your fat. Potato shaming. You can't cook with those. Aw, but mom. I guess I could have tried some herbs. We'll try some herbs later. <laughs> Griffith is not pleased. Let's not cook a hamburger. I think it's already cooked. All right, cool. I guess we'll go ahead and switch our map up. Oh, that's not the map switching up button. Don't hit the globe. Out of order. That means we gotta go talk to the man. Can't fry a potato. I know, it's lamentable. Mm. Oh, you're filthy. Mm. What'd you do, mud wrestle? Mm. Saved a monkey? Mm. I see. It mm. teleported out like Mega Man. Hmm. He's always... He's always wanted to be a naked chef. Hmm? Mm. Gross. Mm. Let's go ahead and switch it up, actually. Well, I was busy fixing up my lab. Mm. You did a good job, though. Mm. A real learning experience, right? Mm. Shall we head out? All right, that's him refilling our stuff. All right, let's go up here. Switch back to Aqua Shot. I think that's gonna be better for us to actually fight in. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take a nappy. Convenience store hamburgers. That one was just in my pocket whenever we got abducted. Which is what happened. All right, let's go ahead and set course for Cloaca. I mean, Clodoxa. Jump in bed. Now we will harass the animal. Not sure why I'm having those kinds of like hangups sometimes. Wait for it. Wait for it. You're working on the computer. Can I tell you to do that? I can tell you to do that. I didn't remember that. Do you like living in interwebs? Yes. I should call it the interwebs, but whatever. I may not have had enough characters for that. I remember seeing this game on the Walmart shelves and you <laughs> being intrigued. It's a pretty good game. Released by Atlas and of course developed by Grasshopper and a another sub studio. Let's go ahead and scratch the board. 
scratch it. All right, now per <laughs> prepare to be harassed. Oh, you're getting such a fun one right now. There you go. Soon we'll be at Clodoxa Ruins. This is a good time. This is good timing. We have finally arrived at Clodoxa Ruins. But first, I'll fill you in on what I know. Clodoxa is home to some big ruins. That's what our cell seems to be. Where our cell seems to be, rather. It also appears to be a popular tourist trap. Look around and try to not to bother the locals. And one more thing. If you see any stag snacks, bring them back home for me. I'll lower the ramp just a moment. There. I haven't done anything, but I have connect telekinetically lowered it from the ship. Anyway, you can leave when you're ready. Please exit to your right. Thank you. Sort of an interesting character, our professor here. Hello? There are souvenir shops right down the road. Stuff to buy? I love buying things. Goats? Alright, you're gonna get it. But people live in people live in the east. The sea is to the west. Very good. No, oh, I'm being pulled into a cutscene. Hey, can I maybe ask you something? Is there anything wrong? Well, we what are we supposed to do about the monster? Well, I assure you, it's all quite safe. But I saw it with my own eyes. Let me go home. You have to stay two more nights, otherwise the... You don't even care what happens to us. Or don't you even care what happens to us? Forget it, I'm leaving. I'll die on my own time. Ah, yes, change the screen. Thank you very much. Rats, he left. I guess they don't get paid this month. Or I guess I don't get paid this month. Listen. If you see a monster, keep quiet, if you wouldn't mind. I'm the real victim in all this, to be honest. One of our, one of my cells should, uh... Should have... Could have made that monster. It could have... What? Excuse me? You need to find it. This is serious. I'll see if I can invent something to help you. Okay. Good. What's your story? I've been around here for nearly 40 years. That's great. Thanks for the heads up. Our ancestors believed in monsters underground. What do you think? It might just be true. Let's see. Don't you want to watch the animal lick its crotch some more? I mean, that's what you come to watch here, right? Looks like a well. You can draw water if you had a bottle. A bottle, you say. This land is a, has a rich 6,000 year history, and I'm living it. Are you 6,000 years old? No cell phones, no internet, not like your dang kids. No electricity either, but I'll make do. Hello? Welcome, how can I be of service? Okay, so you have things on sale. You have a paper knife, a knife knife, a bat bat. I think we already have a bat bat. We already have a bat bat. We have some knuckleroos, a cestus, a fruit knife, bread, and that. We don't have a cestus. Eh, yeah, we already got a bat, though. I'm good. Thank you. I don't think he had a bottle, did he? No, there's no bottle here. There's some original herbs, herbs and spices, but that's all. Maybe if I select these screens? No. Oh yeah, I can't sell that. I don't think I can use that as a bottle either. Let's see. Bottle letter. It can only contain a bottle. We also have a ladybug, which I don't remember getting. Seeing these in spring mean seeing these means springs on the way. Skeleton key that opens most locks and probably will be devoured. A non-rusty knife? Eh. I'll be back if I need it. I don't think I do. We have the power of bat on our side. <laughs> ah, 
I'm Kappa Glide, the mayor of Kerdoxa. <laughs> it's cozy here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. Thank you. There's clearly something behind him. No, my inventory. Oh, that's the fruit knife. I can't use that unless I'm a chef. I could use the knife knife. That doesn't have any sort of, like, prerequisites. Like some other things I could mention. Door probably won't open. Can you hear me? I'm getting interference. I don't know the cause, but it's not the cell. What? The door's shut. Well, you should talk to Copper. Again. I know you just spoke to him, but now he is ready. You've marked the flag. Also, maybe talk to those children running about. Hmm. If you want it back, you'll have to come again. Give me back my yummy snack! Now they are all out of order. Hmm. What a ludicrous display. Alright, Copper. Oh, you want to open the demon gate? Absolutely, positively not. <laughs> yes, I've heard the rumors. <laughs> we can't risk anything bad happening. <laughs> Just relax and enjoy some sightseeing, okay, kid? <laughs> and stay far away from the gate. <laughs> okay. Yum, nothing refreshes quite like a chill juice. Pardon me. Didn't mean to push you around, sir. Okay. Erg. There you go. You're out of the way now. Have you met Copper yet? Yes. I came to try a kebab. Any idea where I could find one? Nope. Maybe I can make one? I'm here on vacation, but Caldox is pretty quiet. Maybe I'll lay down roots somewhere nearby. Okay. What do we have here? I cannot speak to you, even though you're clearly on the other side of a counter. Okay. Our spices are the finest in the whole world. Sounds great. Can I open this? It's locked. You want to open it? Yeah. Got a book. Blue Eyes, version one. Oh, shit, I can kill people. <laughs> I'm just going in there, stealing their stuff. They'll get over it, just like me. The cold was freezing. Jack checked the air as he woke and rose to his feet. Great. And that did consume my key, it looks like, which is rather unfortunate. Why won't you speak? Listen, if you don't speak to me, I'll do horrible things. Here we go. Caldoxin Law says I'm the only one allowed in here. Okay, which law, which statute is that? Okay, there we go. Welcome to the spice shop. I'm afraid that we're not open for business just yet. Someone has stolen our book. Oh, is that what that is? Oh. Okay, well, that's neat, I guess. Guess I'll hobble on out of here. Let's see. There's a paper clipping special, Cosmonauts, part one. Do you read it? Sure. The Cosmonauts are established roughly... Let's try that again. Roughly 20 years ago. Its current leader, Mint Cloudy, wasn't even alive during the R32 Galactic War. What the fuck am I even reading? Lester Sprawl, a veteran, then 20, was the group's leader and founder. Its first members were Bull Beat Beatniks, then 15, and Nadia Crawl, then 14. To be continued, Frank Bell. We got learnt. <laughs> I suppose you could be right there, right, Alder. I guess I'll go back to the gate. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I'm Lester Sprawl, archaeologist. Wait a minute, Sprawl? Didn't we hear about a Sprawl before? I've been studying this phenomenon. That is, Caldoxian flora and fauna. <laughs> yeah, I tried walk talking to Copper as well, with no luck. So I had to find another way into the demon zone. Are you interested in coming along? Yeah, sure, whatever. Well, you shouldn't wait around then. Let's go. This way. Hate to spring this on you, but I need a favor. Pretend that you never saw this, okay? <sighs> Let's see now. The ancients built the demon gate beyond here. It's probably sealed off, though. If you open the gate, I'll follow you. Follow in behind you. I'll head back for now. Nobody gets so no one gets suspicious. Okay. Bye. Thanks for the progression. Oh my goodness, bats. Ooh, there's a big old spider thing down there. I think those do poison you, if I remember correctly. Get pissed on. Speed up some bats so I can get back my tech points. Don't you do that. You're bad. Ow. Damn it. Hit it. Is this now what is this there's a wheel here should I turn it yeah sure why the hell not Yagami turn the wheel slowly Ooh. do you hear me Yagami what's the situation Ooh. Eh, yes that should open up the gate Ooh. I'll put up on the monitor Ooh. see you later I forgot about this fucking mechanic Yeah! First try, I didn't even know where it was. <laughs> I know, nice little jingle there, just in time. I like how he, uh, like, moved away from the monitor so we could see how much time we had left. More things I should piss on. We're gonna go ahead and try to avoid you. More bats, please. Come here, you. Hey! Bat! Still. Bat! Not a spider creature over there. I think I'll piss on it. Not you. P.S. He's all get down, Mr. President. All right, I'm out of piss again. If I remember correctly, this leads up to a bathtub. Let me see if I'm right. Ha! Lethal remembers. So you can go ahead and save here. Get some more health points, which is always good. Well, P.S. And if you want to get some levels, you can go ahead and get them now. Come here, you. Poison me. Bad. Tech him pretty quick now with our baseball bat. Now let's go ahead and just pop our heads in now. I could have sworn those things poisoned you. Oh. Did you do that? You're naughty. Naughty spider. Why are you so large anyway? And you're not really a spider, you only have six legs. Oh, you want to fight now? Bitch. Show you what a real bat is. Right? Well, I got better at hitting things. Let's see if I can one-shot this bat. F I missed. I got faster with my weapon, though. No, no one-shots. Very good. It's a sputter. Don't hit the bathtub. It's naughty. You'll ruin it. Okay, you want to do battle? We can do battle. Now you're going to poison me right when I'm going to, like, look around, huh? Looks like there's something to my right. I know there's more up north. How much money do we have? 488. Die spooker. Well, there's also a way down here. Well, we'll see where it leads. Bed. I said bed. Stale. Bed. What's this game about, Havinos? This is a game where you've been abducted by a professor, and for some reason you're obligated to help him find some crystals. 
It's also a game where a boy smashes spiders, pigs, and everything with a baseball bat. It's pretty much Earthbound, actually. Hey, a, a rod. Cool. Sounds pretty dope. Let's see. It increases my magic stat, huh? An unusual magical staff. Neat. We'll use that whenever I'm doing my piss maneuvers, but for now, I think we'll leave it there. What's downstairs? A g g g g g ghost. Uh. Just piss on that ghost, and nothing else bad happens. Holy piss rods. Okay, this feels too much like progress. We're gonna actually head back and save, just in case I do die. It's very possible in this game. It's easy to get in over your head. There's also a, like, demon cow around here somewhere, which is an easy way to get all kinds of experience if you want it. It does take a fucking coon's age to kill, though. Oh no, they're gonna get me! No! No! See, wasn't there any here? I thought there was. Let's go ahead and jump in the bath, jump in the bed. And I'll see if I can just skip through this whole mochi segment. Pretty sure all you have to do is click on the clock. We'll go ahead and put that theory into action, into practice, at, <laughs> rather. There you go. No more mochi times. Oh. Not what I wanted to do. Let's see where this leads. Spooky, scary skeletons. That's good. Let's just do battle, skeleton. Oh no. Oh my goodness. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Maybe he won't like some piss. Let's go ahead and try that. Worth a try. Worth a piss. Alright, you. Yeah! I got more heart. That was bravery. Well, I'm out of piss, which is unfortunate. But clearly, that's out of our league. Considering he can just, like, power up. No spooter. Hey! Shit. What? Oh, I forgot they could do that. <laughs> uh oh. We have a situation here. Uh. There you go. He's gone immaterial. Listen here, you. You are hurting me a lot, and I don't care for it. I was laying lit. <laughs> I was going to let you live. Well, as much as you can, but, uh... You will now endure the fury of my bat. Like so many others. Okay, those spiders have gone ahead and left me alone. Punch it in the liver. I probably could, actually. I'm not sure how effective that would be. We'd have to check. Anything down here? Anything over here to the left? Nope. Let's get the mouse off screen if I'm not clicking. I wonder if there's a way up there. I think I tried that as a kid, too. Oh, hey. <laughs> heave, heave. Ooh, it's too hot down here. <laughs> About time for a break. Bring me my lunch. <laughs> it's okay, I'm working. Only a little longer till lunch, though. <laughs> Five more seconds and I'm home free. Okay, thanks, Ken. I can't kill him. Alright, so clearly we can't go that way, so I guess the only way left to us is uh, up towards... Excuse me, up towards... Uh, spooky Skeleton Man. Pardon me, Spooter. Okay. You want? You brought this upon yourself, Spooter. You're bad. 
aggressing towards me in such a fashion. The very idea. You too, you're gonna get yours. Let's get you out here so I can at least see your little face. Apparently webs are blunt damage? A dragonfly? Now what is that? Here it is. Do you think dragonflies can get dizzy easily? Zerf all subscribing for two months. Thank you, Zerf. Always appreciate it. All right, Mr. Ghost, we're gonna we're gonna be nice. Maybe they don't attack; they actually just link off of other enemies' aggression. Excuse me, pardon me. Go into the safe room. I always try to hit the bath. Such a naughty person. All right. There's a few of these things in here. If only you had a key. God dang it. Don't attack me. I'm, I'm nice. A bunch of... Hmm. A bunch of doors over there. This thing is going to get very sticky if they attack me. Uh, pardon me. Okay. You wish to do battle then. Oh, you little dick. I don't know what you did, but I didn't care for it. Wearing that fucking planner on your head. You think you're cute? Uh oh. Okay, we have obtained, <laughs> obtained a key of lore. Let's see what we can get out of that chest. Maybe it'll be worth our while. Listen. All I'm trying to do is explore. Your ancient home. Okay, I got stronger. Alright, let's have a fruit. Only have three of these suckers left, my goodness. Oh, my, zero of these suckers left. How many of these do? Those do 50 HP, so we'll wait a second on those. on you. One second. Intelligence up. Could you, uh, please attack? Ow. Okay, we got him. I'm not sure why we were having such a hard time before. Oh, there's two of them there. There's actually quite a few of them there. All Bogart in that chest. Come get me. I'm not gonna eat yet. You can't make me. You're not my real mom. Now I will eat, because now I'm under 50 HP. I get plus one strength. Plus a couple of strength. Bet. Bet. Stop being invisible. Could you please not just sit on top of that chest forever? Right? You force my hand. I will now piss in your general direction. Come get me. I think he's stuck on the other one. Can I piss on you from here? It's time for some science. Piss. Attack! What'd you draw from me? Wait for that to wear off. Actually, you're stuck on the chest. I don't have to even worry. I would like to open this chest, though, to be honest. Yes. This will make it disappear. Rotten meat, thanks. Woof. I got a club. We club it now, boys. Is that better than my... Nope. Is that better than my current, current thing? Offense 10. Our other one is uh, 7. Yeah, I think we will equip it. This guy's probably going to try to murder me. Oh. Alright, punk. Bet. Still bet. Said still bet. 
Sir, could you please become deceased once more? Thank you. He dropped a sticker for us. Fantastic. Now, what is this? This is contact for the Nintendo DS there, a thing. Playing two games at once. I know, double the screens, double the games, double the fun. All right, let's press on. Do we go over here? Okay, there's nothing over here, just those doors. I probably need some keys or something for that. Pardon me. All right, Mudmen. I remember these things being obnoxious. We'll see how obnoxious they are. Let's just do battle. Bat Critical hit there. Nice. All right, punk. Bat Still. Bat Ow. Oof. Guy with some kind of sand attack. Knuckle. Does it chuckle, though? Hmm. More fist attack, and it's blunt. So that has negative speed. This one's got negative critical hit. It's not really that bad, all things considered. And we'll try it, sure. Let's actually pull him away from the other ones. Punch him. More strength. Let me make <laughs> dagger fall sounds. Maybe they do. Great. These Pokemon fucking self destruct on your face. Well, that's good. My tummy is full, so that's unfortunate. Let's see. Too many fucking things. Oh goodness. A bed. I shall save in the bed. It sounds like a terrible idea, but we're saving anyway. I think there's also a bath in here. They're made of plastic explosives. No, no mochi tabs. Ah, more crit chance, I see. Let's go ahead and do a bath. Good place to grind again. A <laughs> weird little life sim, sim dungeon crawler, kind of. Spoiders. Batimals. Oh, we're back here at the start, actually. Well, that's confusing. So this is actually where that one gentleman was, or was it? Not really. But we no longer have to jump into the gate. If we wanted to go and buy something or get more edible, edible things, we could here. Sashay around you, sashay around you. Need more piss. Well, you can give me some more piss. Woof. Woof. <laughs> yeah, it's a Skyrim door. Listen, could you please not be annoying and fucking die? I know I'm asking for a lot here. Thank you. Appreciate it. More skeletons. That thing looks fucking terrifying. Let's fight it. See how it likes my piss. Oh, it loves my piss. Bad. What? <laughs> what a joke. Thought that dragon newt would have been more, more trouble. Yagami, can you hear me? I'm picking up increased feedback from the set. 
It must be nearby. I don't... But don't get too close. Ooh. Use the cell decal to yuck. seal it away. Okay. Oh. Why, hello there. It looks like we're both after the same thing. Unfortunately, I don't have time to play games. Holy shit. Listen up. You need to stop blindly trusting people. Once I get that cell, I'm going to go home for the day. And I don't work overtime, got it? So just run along, kid. What is, what is with you? Maybe you don't get it. This isn't a game. Do you have a death wish or something, kid? What? He can make a man teleport too, just like the monkey. Good. Now scrap. But keep your mouth shut about all this. All right. So this is the... <laughs> this is the final door. Well, it's certainly heavy enough. Hmm. Nope, nothing over here. Huh, I thought you, I <laughs> told you to beat it. Hmm. No. Ah! Piss attack! Oh shit. It's time to switch to the the club, I think. I need to eat something. What do we have? Digestion time, five minutes. Gives me more life points. No. It gives me defense up. I think that's just general defense. More strength, more HP. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. 30 HPs. It's not that much. Maybe it'll save Christmas. We're gonna die. Armor break. Uh, do I have an ability? Can I do an armor break? No, I don't have any tech points. It's time to use the mochi. Mochi? Good attack. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Don't do it. You did it. Out of commission, huh? Hmm. hmm. Do a little better next time. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Just do better, nerd. We wake up with the mochi on our bed. <laughs> mochi, if you could do anything other than just, you know, running around the room, that'd be pretty great. All right, we have returned from the death, but clearly we need to get stronger. So in between this session and next, perhaps Lethal will do a little bit of grinding off screen just to get a little more ability for us. Perhaps I could have done better if I'd used like one of these abilities. I have one other one. Maybe I'll pet Mochi some more off screen and he'll actually do something effective. Find out next time.